new at 11, a real estate development company with big ties to our area. Now the focus of a federal investigation, the FBI raiding the company's New York headquarters this week. Megan Schiller's on the story tonight. She's live in Cranberry Township. Megan. Simply put, the company is accused of fudging its numbers in order to get more money. And here in Cranberry, they're even accused of putting out welcome mats in shoes in front of empty, unoccupied apartments to try to make it look like more people live there. Federal investigators will now take a good hard look at Morgan Management or Morgan Communities, a real estate company with ties to Pittsburgh. If I haven't heard anything. I would love to know what's going on just as like an FYI. This is what's up. Renters like Hanson pay roughly $1450 for a two bedroom at Rochester Village. But he said he had no idea four men working for the developer allegedly conspired to inflate reported rental prices, fudge the number of people who lived there, and even allegedly the number of storage units. Investigators say it was all to make the apartment complexes appear more profitable and secure big ticket loans. It's kind of shady, but I know people, you know, behind the scenes, companies do their thing. So would love to know what's going on, but if it doesn't affect me directly, hey. That's the courts to decide. It doesn't bother me at all. Adam Swank couldn't care less, but his neighbor Nick Long remembers seeing something. We were the first people that actually moved in and only our vehicle was ever here, but there was, I'm pretty sure there was shoes and floor mats laying out at doors to apartments that weren't even occupied. Investigators say developers also turned on radios in empty apartments and asked construction workers to park in the apartment's garage on inspection days. I am not shocked, none whatsoever. Not at all. Long lives at the other Morgan management property in Cranberry, Eden Square. I hope they see this on the news and it, they evict us and they let us out of our lease. I don't care. No charges yet for the four men accused of wire fraud and bank fraud. But Morgan said in a statement that the business is fully cooperating with the investigation. And I talked with one Cranberry Township official who says that Morgan's developments are all completed here in Cranberry, so it won't negatively impact this town. However, it is important to point out that Morgan has developments, nearly 20 of them all throughout the city of Pittsburgh. We're live tonight in Cranberry, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News. Yeah, Megan, those 20 properties include some prominent sites. Morgan owns the reserve at South Point, Washington County, the waterfront apartments in Munhall, Morgan at North Shore and the East Side bond apartments in Shadyside. Federal documents say fraud across, at least that's the allegation, all across Morgan's real estate portfolio.